Have you ever wondered why your digestive symptoms just aren't getting better no matter what you do? Or now you're having to deal with things like parasite overgrowth and yeast overgrowth that just wasn't there before. I'm going to discuss all of those reasons and it actually comes down to one very simple thing. I'm Dr. Andrea Maxim, the creator of the Maxim Movement, and that one simple thing that I find that can trigger chronic digestive upset is not having adequate or even any stomach acid at all. Now let's remember what stomach acid is for. Stomach acid is there to be secreted when you eat food, and then it's supposed to help break it down so that it turns into this nice liquid flood of nutrients that go into your small intestine and get absorbed into your body to make you feel better. Well, for a lot of us, especially if we're dealing with chronic stress, if we're not eating well, if we've had chronic digestive upset, and or if we're taking any sort of stomach acid blocker type medication, what that does is it um, significantly diminishes our stomach acid levels. For some people, their stomach acid levels are absolutely tanked. Now, what does that mean? That means, number one, you're always going to have gas and bloating when you eat food because there's nothing to help break it down. It puts a lot of extra stress on your small intestine to get all those wonderful nutrients from your food. The other thing is, is it's not helping to kill off any parasites, bacteria, or yeast that is in the food, and that can then render your body subjected to some overgrowth. So if you're having chronic gas, chronic bloating, chronic burping, and or chronic digestive upset and chronic parasite yeast bacterial overgrowth, one place I would encourage you to start looking at is how good is your stomach acid? Very simply what you can do is you can start taking even a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar right before your meals. There's a lot of digestive enzymes that include a little bit of hydrochloric acid, which is your stomach acid, that you can also take right before a meal. There's also a number of different tests that we can do in office to see how adequate your stomach acid levels are. If this sounds like to you and you'd like to investigate this further, please do not hesitate to contact me by going to my website, www.themaximmovement.com. Of course, post your comments below this video and I love to hear from you and help you as quickly as I can. And the book Maximized Health is also available on Amazon or on my website. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Yours in health, Dr. Andrea.